the Siddiqiyya character we said from the, the realities of the cave that Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq in the cave had put his heart, his, his foot, his heel on a hole in which a shaitan was coming from that hole to attack or what he believed the shaitan that the, the snake was coming into that cave and may attack the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and has immense reality that the foot and the qadam of the Siddiq and Siddiq al-Mutlaq that that holy foot represents his holy path and that when you love him and take his path that he laid for us with Siddiqiyya then became and inherited into, into Naqshbandiyya. The origin of Naqshbandiyya is Siddiqiyya, it's from Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. So by taking his path and following his qadam that he would block the snake and the hole within the heart that shaitan tries to enter to destroy the Muhammadan ishq within the heart of the muhibbeen and the lovers of that reality. Because ashiqeen their hearts are filled with the love and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and every heart has a black cloth, a dirtiness and shaitan enters through that dirtiness into the presence of the heart to corrupt the qalb, its thoughts, its love, its ishq, its understanding, to create a fitna within the heart and confusion. So anytime your heart is attacked by something, a gossip, a whisper, a misinformation means that it's a whisper from shaitan has entered into the heart to disrupt the Muhammadan haqqaiq within that heart. And the only way to protect that heart is to be on the qadam and the footsteps of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq And that was the immense ishq, the love, the good character, even not to raise the voice. All of the characteristics that we always teach about Naqshbandiyya is what Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq is teaching for us, even towards gossiping and backbiting. That when anybody spreads a gossip and a backbite and a rumor that the characteristic is to remain silent, don't spread it, don't talk about it and to purge it from one's heart and to verify because people now spread and speak things that they have no understanding about and that's only meant to cause a disruption within the heart of people. So it means these are the days that are going to be immensely confusing, immensely difficult. But Allah left for us an inheritance that by loving them, by connecting our heart with them, by connecting our heart with their tajalli and muraqaba and muhassaba that they begin to convey that Siddiqiyya character into the heart. That don't bother yourself with these things, don't put anything into your heart of doubt. Keep your connection, keep the love, keep the, the love of the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So they become more and more difficult, more and more difficult to keep that love and that connection. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the, that firmness. And this is the month of charity, this is the month of good deeds and good actions. This is the month in which Allah give many, many rewards and many, many dressings. And these are the months in which sainthood is granted in the month of Rajab is a month of seclusions in which many, many pious people seclude themselves in the month of Rajab to be dressed by its lights and blessed by its lights inshaAllah. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and we should be putting out the awrad for Rajab within the next few days. I think the guys online will start posting on Facebook and a newsletter will be putting out for Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan which should have all the links for the awrad, for the, the wali of Rajab, the saint of Rajab who was a highway bandit and he had picked up a du'a and read that du'a and had achieved immense lights and immense realities in which even Sayyidina Muhammad prayed and made janazah over the soul of that servant just from the du'a that they were reading on a yearly basis at the time of Rajab. So all of those will be in the email and then posted online for people to take, to read and to practice the, the blessings of Rajab and semi-seclude oneself after work you come home, you try to wash and do your awrads, your zikrs and try to keep 
secluded in the practices of uh, Rajab and you know even secluded amongst your children is okay, just not being out in the outside world busy and trying to keep that seclusion and do the practices and the awrad and the zikrs to receive the immensity of light that Allah shines upon the holy month of Rajab inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil azat Salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.